please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Wheat versus Grider Sloan. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Good day. Mr. Wheat, you filed your case because you claim you've been robbed as a father. You are desperate to prove to the defendant that you fathered her 19-year-old daughter, Sierra Sloan, and once you do, you want to make up for lost time. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Grider, you say, as much as you would like the plaintiff to be your daughter's biological father, facts are facts, and he isn't her dad. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Sloan, you say you are the victim in this paternity chaos and deserve to know who your dad is. Is yes, that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Wheat, you testify that you were robbed as a father. Explain. Yes, I believe she is mine. So I wanted to make up for all the lost time so she can meet her sisters. And so what does it feel like knowing that you may have missed 19 years of your daughter's life? It's hurtful, very hurtful. Do you think about all of the times of her life you've missed, the important moments? Yes, Explain. Your Honor. School, trips, you know, being a family, you know, that I missed out on. All right. Ms. Grider, so you say, unfortunately, as much as you would like your daughter to be Mr. Wheat's biological child, you just say she is not. Right. Explain to the court why you are so certain. Because I was 19, I was young, dumb, and full of eggs, and I was having doing me. <laughs> young, dumb, and full of eggs, and doing me. I don't think I've ever heard it explained like that. <laughs> oh. Okay. And so, Mr. Wheat, tell me the nature of your relationship with Ms. Grider. How did you meet? How did the relationship begin? Tell the court. I met her back when I was in high school. Well, we lost contact for a little while, and then I ran into her at uh, a club called Texas Nightlife and kind of had a one-night stand. And I don't know how many more months later, I found out she was pregnant. Uh, her friend of hers come up to me and says, how does it feel that you're about to be a dad? Really? What? And so did you confront Ms. Grider? Yes. Well, didn't confront her. I talk, we talked about it. She goes, yes, there is a possibility that you are our father. So, Ms. Grider, that's different from your testimony earlier. Do you remember that conversation? Yes, Your Honor. So why did that change for you? Because she started to get darker and her... and everything and... Um... So how many guys were you with during the window of time your daughter was conceived? Four. Four different guys. And Mr. Wheat is one of them. Yes. So can you tell the court how is it you were with these guys? One of them was my boyfriend. He was living with me at the time, and he went away. And then uh, Mac had moved in with me. I met him through a mutual friend of all of ours. And yes, we were sleeping together. And then I had went out to Texas Nightlife and saw David and had a one-night stand with him at that time. And then who's the fourth? It's just somebody I knew from Texas Nightlife. <laughs> you better stay out that Texas Nightlife. <laughs> <laughs> going on in there. Oh, my God. Oh, God. So, take me back to the moment you found out you were pregnant. I confronted Mac and David and told them... told all of them. All so four of them. You really. told them all? Yes. Listen, I'm pregnant and... You could I've... possibly be the father, yes. I've told all four of them. All right. So, in the beginning, you did tell Mr. Wheat you could be my daughter's biological father. My child's yes. biological father. So, Mr. Wheat, take me back to that moment when she told you that. I was pretty much in shock at the time. You know, I didn't process it yet. And so, but wait, I mean, at the point that she tells you you could possibly be the father, you now stand in court and say you were robbed. I'm trying to figure out what happened in between that point and this point, how you got robbed. Did she rob you? Did you rob yourself? Did the circumstance rob you? You said you were robbed. I seen her uh, when, she, when Sierra was four months old. And that was the last time I saw her. 
So take me, Ms. Grider, to the day Sierra was born. Yes, Your Honor. Who was with you when she was born? Mac Grider. Ah, now I get it. So the man you were with went through the process with you. Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Weed, it kind of left you as odd man out because she was with this guy. You were just the one-night stand. And even though you knew you were a possibility, you didn't feel like you really had any standing. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Did she even tell you she was going into labor? She called me that day and told me. And I told her I'll come up there in a little bit. Okay? Well, my family went up there. I called her back, said, hey, I'm on my way. She told me not to bother. Whoa. So I just... Oh, now I get where the robbery's coming. It took me a while to get here. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. So you were saying, I'm gonna come, and you sent your family before you could get there. Yes, Your Honor. But by the time you say you're on your way, she says, don't bother. Right, Why'd you say don't bother? Because Mr. Grider was there? I don't think, um, Your Honor, I don't think that I said that. I think that they, uh, Mac and one of our mutual friends had pushed him away from being there at that time. That's what I was told, because I really don't remember. All I remember is having her and yeah, him you being had there. other things going on there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. And so, Mr. Wheat, your family was there. Ms. Grider testified that she went, they went to go see Sierra in the nursery. What was their response? Well, when they came back to the, my house, all of them said, congratulations, you're a dad. Mm. All right, well, I didn't believe them. My mom came in and asked me if I wanted to see what my daughter looked like. Well, she handed me a baby picture of me mm. when I was born. And she goes, that, there you go. Wow. I couldn't give up on that one. <laughs> so, well, yeah, the mother's intuition is a powerful thing. <clears throat> yes, it is, Your Honor. I mean, I think if we go statistically based on the mothers, the mothers might be about 80% in this courtroom when the mom says, that's our baby. So that, yeah. that really affected you. You believed your mom. Like, this baby looks just like you. Yes. So what happens next, Ms. Grider? Who signs the birth certificate? Does anybody sign the birth certificate? Yes, Your Honor. Oh. Mac Grider did. Oh. And it's been on and off drama for yeah. 19 years. So... Well, Mac Grider is here, and he believes... He could be Sierra's father. Jerome, will you please escort Mr. Grider into the courtroom? I gotta sit down. You gonna go to the witness stand up here? Yeah, sure. Thank you for joining us today, Mr. Grider. Yes, ma'am. I have a couple questions for you related to uh, Sierra's paternity. Yes, ma'am. I want to know first, what was your relationship with the defendant. She is my ex-wife. She's your ex-wife. All right. So, do you think you are Sierra's, Miss Sloan's biological father? There is a possibility. Me and Charlene were sleeping together and staying in the same house. And we used to uh, having sex more than another guy. So, were you there throughout her pregnancy and birth Yes, ma'am. I was there, went to the doctor appointments. I named her, I signed the birth certificate. And Sierra, I, I see your face. This must be so confusing, honey. What are you feeling in this moment? Can you tell the court? Upset that I never knew who my real dad was. <laughs> and when you say you never knew? Never. You were always told that it was uncertain. I've had a father figure throughout the years, and he's watched me grow up and never really knew who my dad was. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, can you tell the court, what did your mom tell you? Well, I know, I think when I was 15, my mom said that I look like David because I had, because apparently me and him have the freckle line. And then I would sit there and smile sometimes the way he did and lay 
down the way he did and everything. So she kept on telling me that these could be the possibilities and I just had to live with it until today. I'm trying to figure out who my dad is. Understood. So when Sierra was born, you were there. Yes, ma'am. I was in the doctor. Signed the birth certificate. Yes, ma'am. You named her. Yes, ma'am. After a Chevy truck. <laughs> See, that wasn't me. <laughs> Still a beautiful name, Sierra. So, Mr. Weed, I see your emotion here. I see your face because as I talk about all of these memories and naming her and all of this, this is now, it's reinforcing that feeling that you feel like you've missed out. Yes, Your Honor. Can you tell Sierra what your plans are? If it is determined today that you are her biological father, what are your plans? To get to know her. Get to know who you really are, so you can get to know who I really am. How does it feel to hear that, Sierra? That he wants to get to know you and have a relationship with you and be a dad to you? It feels good, but I'm just trying to figure it out. If he is my dad, it's just a lot to deal with. But it would be nice if he was, or if Mac was still. I would like to get to know him better, too. And so, Mr. Grider, why do you feel emotional? Just a lot. It's just a lot right now, going through all this. Is it hard to see her cry? Yes, yes ma'am. She's breaking her heart. Well, I think I've heard sufficient testimony, and I think the only way we can move forward is to get the results. Jerome? Oh, God. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. The first result is for Mr. Grider. In the case of Wheat versus Grider Sloan, when it comes to 19-year-old Sierra Sloan, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Grider, you are not the father. I'm very sorry, Mr. Grider. I still love her no matter what. We're all still a happy family. <laughs> and it's, it's just hurting her because she still, she loves him, but it's, she thought there could be a possibility. Of course she did. And I saw you, Mr. Wheat, because once I said Mr. Grider was not the biological father, I think the weight even became heavier for you that, well, if he's not, that's even more probability that I could be. Well, let's get the results. In the case of Wheat versus Grider Sloan, when it comes to 19-year-old Sierra Sloan. It has been determined by this court. Mr. Wheat, you are not the father. I'm very sorry, Sierra. I'm very sorry. (laughs) 
I know this is not what we expected to hear today. Mr. Wheat, are you all right? <laughs> Ms. Greider, I, I, I need to ask you, because your daughter is standing here trying to be as strong as possible, and this was devastating news for her, I know. It's devastating for me. Yes. And her. <laughs> Do you know where the other two men who are the possibilities are? Yes, Your Honor. Good. Good. <laughs> Sierra, this is not over. I want you to understand. We Listen, we're still here to help you, honey, okay? And we're going to get you that answer you need. It's important. And we want you to understand we have your back, okay? And we're here to support you. All right, honey. I will see you again. You understand? Yes, Your Honor. Oh, I wish you the very best. Court is adjourned.